Hey guys, I am doing the base for 4th of July week. I am using this kit from Glam Planner. Um, I think she calls it 4th or 4th of July. Um, but I am putting down some Simply Gilded uh, plaid washi that Shay so graciously gifted to me. Because um, I didn't love like the way that the Glam Planner washi looked. So... I knew that I wanted to kind of pull in some other washi, so I'm glad that I pulled this in because I think it looks really good. So I ended up using silver foil this week. Um, I used a combination of like a bunch of different things. So I did some stars um, and then I also did like some fireworks. There were two different styles from Planner Choco. Choco. Um, and she had one that was more like traditional fireworks and then one that was more like a doodle style firework. Um, but anyway, I'm going to answer a couple questions. Um, I, this is the second time I'm filming this, so I don't remember what questions I answered in this video. <laughs> Yay. So, um, I am going to, if I already answered this question, my bad, my brain, terrible, but I'm just going to kind of guess to, to see which ones, um, I answered. <laughs> so the first, God, and then I just like lose it. Um, so the first question is from Bailey Kim plans. And she said, what is my favorite tea combo? Um, regards to, I actually work for a, um, nutrition club. That's what they call them. Um, and they serve a lot of people call them tea bombs or we call them mega teas. And, we also serve like meal replacement shakes, um, and a bunch of different other options, but mega teas are my favorite and they have quickly become a replacement for coffee or energy drinks for me. I'm not going to like advertise it, but, um, my two favorite all time favorite flavor combinations, um, we call them sugar plum and the other one is bikini bottom. Sugar plum is a combination of grape and um, like a strawberry pink starburst flavor. Um, and I'm usually not like a pink starburst or a strawberry person, but the combination of the two of them, one of my all time faves. And then bikini bottom is a blue raspberry pineapple mixture and it's so delicious. Um, I usually like stray away from anything that's like too peachy or watermelon flavored, um, because I don't love those flavors in general. So but I'm really always usually down to try anything. Um, I love like seeing what the week's flavors are and just kind of trying them. So, um, the other question is, hmm, from Amy Ray plants. Um, and she says, do I like coffee? If so, iced or hot? Um, I do love coffee. Um, always iced. I, will be one of those people in the dead of winter with my iced coffee. And yeah. Um, but like I said, I have quickly started drinking less coffee just because, um, I kind of get like a groggy feeling sometimes when I drink coffee. So, um, I've just been drinking the tea instead. So, um, I don't remember the other the other questions that I answer in my video for next week because I did both of the voiceovers. So we're just going to do two questions and I'm going to get back to the base. Um, so I was really frustrated and this base was just irritating me because the extenders were not going down correctly. I put everything like crooked, like terribly crooked. So I was just like frustrated and like over it. Um, <laughs> I didn't color block this week. Um, everything else is just kind of the normal. Um, I'm, I do, I hope you guys don't mind like how much I do on camera and like how much off camera, but, um, I put some glitter headers on, on camera just cause they're easy to line up with the boxes and then the rest I do off camera. So we are doing the sidebar. We are doing a tall box fashion girl. Um, and then we are going to play with that deco in the corner. I really like the way that the sidebar turned out for this one. Um, 
I did that like fruit skewer and then I did some fireworks. It's just been fun playing around and layering it. Um, you guys will see next week. I didn't use deco and I only used a flag and I was so sad because this has easily become one of my favorite parts of the spread to do. Um, so we are just gonna kind of go through the spread or the sidebar like usual. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with spacing for this. Um, started with a red glitter header and then one of the little squared off a little bit smaller than a half box and then we go to the light bluish purple and I use a three like half heart checklist box to track my work days I had to like spread it out like so much because I didn't like have enough room for like another box or um, obviously not another full box so I just had to space things out a little differently and kind of work with it so I decided to um, not decided to so I was playing around with like the deco bits I did a lot of like foiled deco pieces just playing around with it I had some like little mini fireworks from Scribble Prince Co that I put in there and it was just fun my monthly scripts are from player and choco and then I don't know what I do next put the star header overlays on and then I have just been doing like the same thing I normally have when I do like themed or holiday spreads. I use um, a themed character sticker to go with it. So these are the Coffee Monsters Co. 4th of July or patriotic stickers. Um, I use a work script. Oh, this is me playing around with holidays. The Scribble Prince Co. holidays are really pretty and they're small, but they're like teeny tiny small. So I ended up going with the Kinsey's Creations Independence Day script. And then I put another character on the heart checklist box and I put a work header and I put tons of foil bits all over the place, you know, cause go ham on those holiday sparkly spreads and what else what else so when I do the full box overlays um, we're not there yet I am going too fast it's probably because I filmed this voiceover already and I just wanted to be done um, you know when you do it the second time uh, so for the tall box I used um, 15 millimeter like some of the foil bundles have these little 15 millimeter strips. They're perfect for like tall boxes or places you want foil. Um, because I knew I was putting a quote over the fashion girl. So it kind of worked out perfectly. So I use a combination, like I said, of the fireworks overlays from Planner Choco. I use the more realistic looking ones. And then there's also like the hand drawn doodle looking ones. And I just kind of play with it and see which looks best. Um, I will say caution when you use planar choco overlays. They are a little touch cloudy than normal, like other companies. But she has such pretty designs that I just kind of work with it. So I end up using three quote overlays in this spread, which is a lot. I don't like to use a ton of quote overlays, but there was like three that I really wanted to use. So, um, yeah, so you're going to see me putting that second quote overlay. And then the third quote overlay is the one that says happy 4th of July. And I put it right between the double box scene. I like to do that every once in a while. I don't think it looks half bad, but I am going to 
just finish up the last couple overlays and I will see you guys when I put down the plans. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are back to do the plans for the week. Um, I am very behind. Story of my life. Um, so we're just going to get started. Um, hopefully this won't be too painful, but it's going to be a little more difficult because I am not used to using this kit format. So... First off, on Monday, I did have to take Anthony to work. Um, so I'm going to just use a little thing, but there's nothing dis like distinguishing that that's a little thing. Um, and then this was the Monday we got home from the trip. So we needed to return our rental. And one of the things that also stinks about this kit is that there's just not a whole lot of like options to bring in like the pattern. So I need to just kind of bide my patterns. Okay, so I guess I will use that for returning the rental. Um, and then, thankfully, like, it was just kind of, like, on a whim. Usually, Monday mornings, I'm, like, straight to work. Like, just, I will automatically, like, on a normal day, I would have automatically gone and done work stuff. But I forget what happened that, like, made me decide to <laughs> go get my e-check and... Um, because I needed an e-check for my vehicle, um, before I could get my, like, the new plates, or not new plates, or, like, the stickers, renew my registration, whatever. Um, so, like, I was like, let me just get that done before I actually, like, try to start working for the day. Um, and... I'm glad that I did because the rest of the week, I waited like an hour and 25 minutes, um, even though I checked in online and stuff, but the rest of the week was 10 times worse. So I'm glad that I got it done when I did. Um, while I was waiting though, <laughs> I went and sat with one of um, the girls and I got a shake and a tea. Um, while I waited. So. Um, but yeah. It would have been a lot worse had I waited till later on in the week. Because I was one of those people that really took advantage of the... Um, the extension on the registration, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I probably, like, should have done things differently, but it's, it's neither here nor there, so. Then after I got that done, I started working on the product orders, I got most of it done before it was time um, for my daughter's swim. She started swim team that day, which she's happy to be back. Um, it is a nice program that is kind of more relaxed. Um, 
you know, she has been on swim team for quite some, or she's been doing swim for quite some time. Um, but she, right before the pandemic started, decided to um, take a little break. And then the pandemic happened and like her normal swim team uh, fell apart. So it just kind of, kind of diminished after that, which was, you know, not fun. Um, and she never, and she didn't really realize how, until she got back in the pool, how much she really like missed swimming. So she's glad to be back. It's not much of a challenge for her, but like, it's just about being in the water for her. So cut a little bit of this blue because my icon will not cover the little things so yeah so she's really excited to be back they have a swim team at the high school that she will be attending um so it's just i think it's perfect and I'm actually looking into uh, a family friend. I had r run into her and she said her daughter swims at this place. So I'm going to think about maybe trying to get her into like another year round swim team. So after swim practice, I was running around like a crazy person because of work stuff and like time constraints and stuff like that. I really did it to myself, but <laughs> it was just no bueno, no bueno for me. Um, so I was just running around like a crazy person. And then <sighs> if you follow me on Instagram, this is when the like drama with my dad's wife family started about his headstone and I was just in my feelings and in mood but I did make spaghetti and meatballs that night and I took a much needed bath and I had some white claws so So for being upset and in my feelings, I'm just using this what uh, WTF sticker. So I'm finally, I don't know if it was this week or the next, that I got stuff like started to get taken care of on my own. Took care of it on my own. Cause F everyone else, like for real. And I did this backwards, but we're just going to have to deal. So I did a bath. I'm going to do this this way, though, because I don't have. I'm going to put the like, this is like an SPC little can. Um, I think it kind of looks like White Claw, so I'm just going to put the bath script. And, oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> bath script with the bath bomb and then just write White Claw because that was my night. So then on Tuesday, Tuesday, I did sleep in. It was nice. And the thing that, like, was just irritating to me was that I got back from vacation and I was just like, everything just like hit me right after vacation like I had no time to like not like nothing just just everything right in my face when I got back so but I mean I guess that's part of life you deal with it I guess so I slept in um I did binge YouTube which it was just like decompress watch some YouTube 
that's like <laughs> what I normally do like when I'm kind of like in a little depressed or like not the best mood I just tend to just do that kind of stuff comforting kind of things for me um, and then once I finally got myself out of bed I needed to pull stickers for the video now I'm just trying to decide what I'm gonna okay okay sorry pulled stickers so I'm gonna use another little thing and then I did planning stuff. So we will put that in there. But like sometimes, and like this is exactly why I got behind because I've just been like really stressed out and a lot's been going on. Um, so, yeah. So then after I did my planning stuff, um, I placed, this was the night I placed an order with um, Girlboss Anna, and I ordered photos from our trips or pretty much just like a lot of photos that have been in my phone that I've been meaning to get printed. I got just printed at one time. I think it was like 207 pictures or something. I don't think I've ever like had a picture delivery in a box. So I did that and then we actually sadly like it was the end of an era for me because I've been watching Shameless for such a long time. Like not since like the very beginning like inception of Shameless but I have been watching it for quite some time um and we finished Shameless it's just it's like one of those things it's you get I get emotionally like attached to characters um because that's just how I am <laughs> um but yeah it was <sighs> like after 11 seasons man you just ow I look at my desk um you just get so like emotionally attached so so for my YouTube binge um I just am using this and I swear I have a YouTube binge strip that I didn't pull apparently um and then for pulling stickers once more with love is super cute for that yeah so 11 seasons well I'll be like that I'll be like a wreck when it happens for like Grey's Anatomy or something because we 17 seasons deep in that like you can't like I don't know I don't understand how people don't cry or get attached to stuff like that and then and I picked the perfect sticker <laughs> the La La Land Studios little crying marshmallow I'm gonna get that YouTube bench sticker out of here because I know I have one but I will say like, I'm not going to obviously ruin it for anybody, but I will say that the series, I was very satisfied with how the series ended. 
Like, I think it just pulled things all together. Obviously, like, one of the characters I wish I would have had, like, you know, because one of the characters quit the show um, a few seasons ago, and, like, you just, like, never really got a whole lot of closure with that character, but that's what happens. Um, so then Wednesday was a work day for me. Um, so... I don't know how I'm doing this. Lost my mind. Um, so there is, yeah, I'm losing my mind. There is work boxes. What do I want? No, I don't want a work box because I have an extender. So, I'm gonna do this, like, thicker. No, that's not supposed to be one piece. Missing a cut line. Um, but I will say I had, like, the second I got back from vacation like going back into work was a fun time for me like I do really like my job and I like what I do but it was frustrating going back or leaving and then coming back because I don't know it's just I feel like I don't know I feel like stuff wasn't taken care of like while, while I was gone and then I come back and it's like in shambles <laughs> and you're like so responsible for it and I just think it was just not a great time so I'm gonna do something that I have not done in a while I'm gonna put this to do with If I could get it straight. Um, it just was frustrating because I just feel like I came back into a mess and I've been trying to clean it up and it's just not not working for me. But I guess you'll just with everything I mean everything in life can't be perfect. There's just gonna be frustrating moments and everything, so just got to take it in stride, I guess. Sunday night, hopefully. Start fresh on Monday and just be better. Okay, so we're going to put that heart checklist leg because for work, I did have like a lot of different places that I needed to hit that day. Um, so then we are going to do uh, swim practice again. First one practice that are Monday and Wednesday. No, that's not the right, the right color. <laughs> so we'll see. Hope, hope, hopefully. It'll be better this week. So, and then I had to go. There was a shirt that I got before vacation that I needed to return because it did not, it did not work out for me. So I'm gonna put that. Is that crooked? I don't even know, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, and then we had a date night, which I was excited about. Um, You know what I mean like part of our trip was probably a date night but you know what it's good to get out and have some time together so so I'm gonna put this box for a date night and we got like our favorite restaurant that we hadn't had in quite a while for 
dinner. We went to Bibby Bop. flag. Okay, so let's start putting stuff down. Um, for work this week, I'm using these little Carly plans, drink cups. script then I'm using this little credit card from Bubba Bear Studios to mark my work errands for that to-do list swim practice script and I forget where that swim practice script is from it's so old though for the return, I just have this little box circle icon. And then I just randomly sprinkled in some of these patriotic little characters. So we use that for date night. <laughs> so funny. And then let's see if this works. Okay, I'm not going to eat. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that like that. <sighs> I'm just going to do it like this. And I'm not going to put the original sticker I was going to. It's fine. Um, and then for the rest of the night, we went to a movie that night. And I was super excited to have some space. <laughs> To be able to use a larger sticker than normal that I love but it's large it's one of these boxes okay so we went and saw fast nine or f9 whatever the hell the name for it is which was good like I mean I just have followed along for so long for the, f the fast whatever you want to call it franchise so I am using this stick with the plan co couple at the movies so cute and then stick with the plan co washing hair because that's what I did when I got home wash my hair all right so we are going on to Thursday but like I said the <laughs> the Fast 9 was a crazily far-fetched, but, you know, I've just followed along with it so long. Alright, then on Thursday, slept in again. A favorite. And I have a box extender and I didn't really do much that day. You know, it's all about balance here, people. put this down a little bit because I have this super cute sticker to use but I'll get there Thursday is also a work day for me oh so I need to do this differently eh, please lift up lift up lift up please yes I need to do this a little different because I'm using washi for work related things. So instead, I'm gonna use this red rounded box. So that's good. Then here for work, that'll be perfect. Put 
perfect ish. Um, okay, so okay, so this I use this Bubba Bear. I love it, but it's huge. So again, this is a great opportunity for that when I don't have like a ton of stuff to write in here. And then I'm not using a work script because it's a little different than like a normal work day. I had something to do. Like I, it was different. Um, and then I'm, cause I met the girl that I work alongside with. Um, I had to meet her at one of the locations to go over some things. And then I did product orders, which I'm using this little paper clip. Then after I did the product orders, I had to go to the location closest to me um, and kind of work on some things there, <laughs> which was oh, just, just, just a fantastic, great time. Um, so I'm going to use this little box here. It's that location is a mess and they still have not like like completely handed it over to me um, to do fully like to take care of that location myself. So it's like been back and forth between me and someone else and it's just it's frustrating because I can't I can only help so much <laughs> um yeah so uh, yeah like I just I don't know it's, I just work through it um and then I gotta like okay and it's one of those days where there's not very much <laughs> that needed to be marked. So uh, for the dumpster fire that is that certain location, I have the dumpster fire. <laughs> and then uh, I was going to put, I'm just going to kind of like add some filler to it. Um, and I'm trying to. So I was going to see if I could find like an icon to put in here. I'm going to put this computer icon because I did some computer work on it. It's just a mess. Complete another mess and it's not gotten any better. And then we finally did post vacation laundry. It's the worst coming back home and having to do laundry and <laughs> okay so next we had Chinese for dinner back to our normal home delicious Chinese food different from the trash we had we experienced on our vacation um and then I had the biggest like the biggest Amazon fail I ordered four items or five items and three of the items were completely wrong couldn't use so I had to So it was just a total fail. Like I was, I was like trying to be like, this one day I just like randomly like ordered a bunch of stuff that anyone needed and it just totally didn't work out for me. And then I am gonna mark, um, the first is when I get charged for my mystery from SPC. I've been meaning to like track it and I always forget.
but it's nice with Amazon. You can just take the stuff, packaging or not, just to Amazon and there to Kohl's and you don't have to do any of the work, so. And it takes like two to four hours for you to get, if you choose to do a Amazon credit, which I did, um, it takes like two to four hours, so. Okay, so Friday, um, took my husband to work. Usual little thing there. Um, and then this was the morning that, like, the family drama just, like, erupted. Um, and I was at my wit's end, and... I was just like, you know what? Nope. I am taking care of everything myself and you can, everyone can F off. Kiss, kiss it, kiss my ass. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was done and done. I was just not having it anymore and I never felt better. So I'm going to leave a little white space in there for the one thing. <laughs> and taking my husband to work. Again, another one of the little patriotic Coffee Monsters Co. But it was funny because, like, it's not like it took, took long to take care of. Um, my dad was cremated and buried with my grandparents, so there was an existing headstone there already. Um, so it was just inscription. And went in, took about half an hour, paid for it, and it'll be done in a month. So. And for, um, I just put the little credit card icon for paying for my dad's inscription, and then... After that, I went to celebrate and got a beer and a burger because that's what my dad would have done. And then <laughs> I got more than just a beer and a burger. We're going to be completely honest. And I was a little day tipsy. So I, I um, went ahead and went home and took a nap because I knew that there was things that I needed to do later in that day. So, went home for a nap. And it was perfect. Went home, took a nap, and perfect. Other than the fact that I did also, like, wake up to BS. Um, I think I, like, talked about it on here. Um, that we ordered a meal box on the way home from our trip and like I didn't purposely didn't grocery shop because we were gonna have five days worth of meals and <laughs> I thought it was lost um, but no it was just my um, my apartment took the package into the the office and didn't let me know that I had a package waiting and um, it was Friday and they were closed until Tuesday due to the holiday um, so didn't get that meal service so I was just like irritated with my apartment uh, we got our notice that our rent was being raised again which I knew that it was happening like we our lease is up so like we I knew that there was no way that it wasn't going to be raised so like I knew that it was coming but like we deal with a lot like for as much money as we pay um we just we deal with a lot and I was just at my wits end with everything so after my nap I kind of was like ready to lose it but we ended up having a pretty decent night we 
watched local fireworks at a perfect spot. Um, and then I came home and I enjoyed some white claw to myself. So then for Saturday, uh, my husband works all weekend. So I basically just had a lazy uneventful weekend. I did not do anything. <laughs> um, you know, and my daughter ended up actually going with her dad that previous night. So she didn't come home with us. So I was just home alone all weekend. So I did sleep in Saturday morning. Um, once I finally crawled, got myself out of bed, um, I filmed. So put that there. We'll just do this. I'm gonna do this. Do that for filming. No, that's not gonna work either. No. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I use this one for filming. this I'm going to use because I like cleaned up my desk and I swear it like piles up and I just do like a big desk cleaning at one time so for sleeping in I have the little face mask squidge so cute But I also, um, a couple days ago, I got this new little piece for my desk from Target. Like, I just really like the look of it. And I finally put away my silhouette. Um, because the last time I tried to make stickers for myself, it was malfunctioning. And I was not trying to troubleshoot it. So I just... And I was like, okay, so we're just going to be done with you. So I took it off my desk, gave myself a little more room. I don't know if I love the layout still yet, but we'll be fine. Um, so then after my husband got off of work, he came and picked me up and we went and got our favorite ice cream. And then since the meal planning thing didn't come... We had to go to our local grocery store and grab a few things. And we fixed dinner together. And yes, don't, I'm, I'm not gonna explain that yes, we did get, we did get dinner or we did get dessert before dinner. And I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, sometimes in life that just, just has to happen so can I get two of these they might fit I'm just gonna pile it up here okay maybe not both of them I'm just gonna slice this a little bit Yeah, so we really like, my husband has like two dishes that he, he's like really good at making. So I leave those to him. But we like cooking together. You know, spending time together and cooking. So that little ice cream cone is from my old shop. And then I'm using my last Dairy Grove sticker, which some of these local places I'm gonna have to get custom stickers for because 
we frequent them and I like having scripts for them. And I'm actually going to pull out a with my love script. Okay, so then on to Sunday. Like I've been writing, I've been like writing and printing stuff out because it's just way easier. So, 4th of July. Hey, yay, happy 4th of July. <laughs> so, for this, you're going to put a box. Um, and then, what did I do? It was a lazy day for me. Shocking, right? Who would have thought I would be lazy? Uh, so, we're going to put that there. And then, I did a bunch of... YouTube stuff. So, I use this, but I need to cut it down just a little bit. I've done really good this week about not like having to cut stickers, but it's fine. Put you here. So I'm going to try to record because it's Sunday and I need to, I'm going to record the next week's plan with me too because while I'm here I have the stickers pulled for it already so it's going to be a late night of editing and trying to get this video up in time because I have been really good about sticking with the 8am Monday for my uploads, so. I'm not trying to go off of that. And trying to get it done before my husband will wanna go to bed. Cause we all work tomorrow. I just love this Bubba Bear Bear. It is so cute with the little derby heart. So cute. I need to pull out a 4th of July sticker. It's gonna be this super tiny one from SPC, but I'll probably put like, maybe like a deco or something there. It's just like so tiny. Then, um, what, what else? Oh, I don't know why I wanted to mark this, but we'll mark it anyways. Um, we had baked potatoes for dinner, and they were bomb. I don't, I don't know what it is about just like a good baked potato, sour cream butter, and everything bagel seasoning because it, it's delightful. Um, and then, what else? What else? Uh, we started watching Psych. It's my husband's favorite show. And we realized that it's streaming all on Prime. So he got super excited. And he was like, can we please start watching Psych? We wanted to start Dexter, but we're doing Psych instead. We'll get to Dexter. Um, and then, lastly, my daughter's little sister like got so excited because... Uh, Mackenzie asked me if she could come back and stay the night. It's her sister from her dad. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's fine. You know, because they're like so close. Um, so for the baked potato, I just, I didn't have a baked potato sticker. So I just, knife and fork for starting psych. I have a little TV from Carly Plans. And then, this makes zero sense, but... Just another patriotic sticker for my daughter's sister coming over to spend the night. So I'm going to fill it out and I will be right back. Okay, so here is the full spread all filled out. I gotta kind of move it because my lighting's weird. 
I really love the way it turned out and I'm using a new pen that you guys will see in a haul video the Energel Kana that everybody uses and I really like it so hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video